Abakihari allegedly in critical condition in a UK hospital. President Mamadou Buhari, Chief of Staff, Abakihari is allegedly receiving treatment at a private medical facility in the UK after testing positive for coronavirus. Recall that the viral leaked video of a woman revealing the plans of the presidency to fly President Buhari and Abakihari out of the country to seek medical aid abroad as the health facilities in the Federation can't cater for the medical needs of the Nigerian leaders. A report obtained from Roots TV Nigeria suggests that the Chief of Staff Abakihari has been cited at Wellington Hospital in London. Wellington Hospital is the largest independent hospital in the United Kingdom and part of HCA International Hospital Group. The source further revealed that the President's Chief of Staff is receiving medical attention at Wellington Hospital, but his medical condition is deteriorating, having tested positive to COVID-19, the source said. Just after Nigeria recorded its first case of the deadly virus in February 2020, Habakiari has visited Germany and Egypt in company of the Minister of Power, Saleh Mama where they met Siemens officials over the power deal signed with the company. Well, wow, this is, you see, this is another one. Then they were, there was a rumor that this so-called Abba Kihari, the chief of staff and the president of this country, sneaked out of the country for medical attention. And look at now, the secret is being revealed. That means we are not just far from the truth. See, I see no reason why in a country whereby we believe that we can do everything on our own. Look at it now, selfishness. Because we don't have a proper hospital in this country. You can imagine, no proper hospital in the country. Now, they are seeing the results. They are, they are, they are reaping what they have sown. Now, see, they were like, the Nigerians don't deserve the best. Because every time, any time, any day when they are sick, the next thing they will run down to US, they will run down to UK, they will run down all over the country, all over the world, X, X, X places, just to take care of themselves. And look at it now. In their own country, there is no proper, adequate, no sophisticated hospital that can cater for their needs because they never invested in the country. And look at what has happened now. That is very good. And this so-called woman said that in the name of Allah, in the name of God, these people will not survive it. They have said it already. See, one thing about this country is, in fact, about life. Don't let me say country. Anything you sow, you must reap. Look at that. They never expected it. They never expected that coronavirus will visit them. See, that is why God is bigger than any man. No matter what, God is bigger than... If God wants to catch up with you... Now, we've been talking about how this country will be in a better state. A lot of them will tell you that repentant Boko Haram should be rehabilitated. Repentant Boko Haram should, should not be killed. Why? Why won't they be killed? They said they will not be killed. They will rehabilitate them, send them abroad for um, edu a more education, for more knowledge to learn. After then, they will bring them back to Nigeria to join the Nigerian army. Is that is that a good governance? And look at that. They believe that they are God. They believe that not capable. In no time, look at judge. God is just bringing this judgment very fast. It's just coming very fast. Look at now. They they cannot even stay. They can't stay now. They are running elter skater within um a, within a twinkle of a high. Well, you see, that's why I said prayers. There's nothing prayers cannot do. In my other post, I've been telling people pray, pray against this government. Pray, since they don't want to listen, they believe that they are God. They believe that they can control things. They can make things happen on their own. They believe that eh, after, in fact, they, some of them, majority of them believe that there is no God. And now God has yet that, God has yet the prayer of his people. Look at what he visited them with. And you can imagine, do you know that eh, all the people that this uh, so-called virus have been affecting are the, are the influential people. 
You can imagine. They are the influential people. Now look at the masses. The poor people, the poor Nigerians. We, the poor Nigerians, we are at home now. We are sound. We thank God. Because we are doing the right thing. Yet, they themselves, they believe they are on top. They are the best. They can make things happen. They can bring down heaven. They can bring down earth. Now God has proved to them that he is their creator, that he's bigger than them. I pray they will learn from this. I pray they survive it. I just pray they survive because we are all humans. But I pray they will learn from this. But if prior adventure, these so-called people, if God knows that they will not even repent, they will be adamant like the, that, uh, the days of uh, Pharaoh when God said, let my people go. If they will be adamant, in fact, let them just remain there. I don't want to see other or in otherwise. Let them remain there. Let anything that let the greatest punishment happen to them. I would not say they should die, but let the greatest punishment happen to them because I don't see any punishment that is greater than Corona. Oh my God! Look at, in fact, and God is wonderful. God is wonderful. So these people actually they flee out of the country and they were denying it. They were denying it. Nigerians now know better. Nigerians now know better. <laughs> Well, I would like to have your take on this. And remember to subscribe, like, share for more updates. Thanks and God bless.